So, what the hell is this picture? <laughs> so confusing, huh? This is actually one muscle fiber. If we go inside the muscle, go very, very deep and microscopic level, you will see the muscle is formed of very, very small, small muscle fibers. So this is a muscle fiber or medical term, we call it myofibril. Myo, myo means muscle, fibril means fiber myofibril can you get that very good so muscle fiber or myofibril is a structure that you have thousands of them inside one muscle so the way it works is each muscle fiber has the ability to become shorter or we call it contraction when all these muscle fibers one by one become shorter and become contractured as a result, the whole muscle becomes shorter and contractured. This is the cause of all other movements. Right now, I just did this. This movement happened by contraction of muscle fibers. As a result, the whole muscle. How, does he do that? How about you do this? It's the same. It becomes more and more complicated. Okay. So let's go down deep to one muscle fiber or myofibril to see how this is happening, how this is working, this contraction thing, okay? When you look, go to the muscle fiber, you see the muscle fiber is formed of some basic structures. You see that? This is one section, another section, another section, and keeps going like that. So you see units of muscle fiber. One unit of muscle fiber, which is this from here to here, it's called, it's called one, one, start with S, start with S, Samsung, sacromere. Huh? Sacromere? Sacromere? No, sarcomere, not sacromere, sarcomere. Sarcomere or sarcomere is one unit of muscle fiber. Step one, very easy. But what is, what is the start point and end point of sarcomere? You see this little, 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 like, like little zigzag thing here? That is called, I just show like this. What is this? Z, exactly. This is called Z disc. Z disc. So, what is the definition of sarcomere? It's bit from one Z disc to the next Z disc is called one sarcomere. It's one unit. This is one of the common questions they might they may ask you in different exams. So, where is what is the definition of sarcomere? Number one, it's a unit of muscle fiber. Number two, where is it start from and where is it going to? Where is it ending? From one Z disc to the next Z disc. So far, very, very, very simple not easy okay so when you look at the exactly in the center of sarcomere you will see another line there that line which is in the middle of sarcomere we call it which line middle line very simple okay or we call it m line so what is M line now? M line is the line that divides one sarcomere into two sections. So exactly in the middle of each sarcomere. Very good. The Z disc and M line, they provide connection. They provide the skeleton that two main structures connect to them. You see, when you look at the Z disc, you see these blue, little blue lines connected to it? You see that? That These are very, very important structures. I will just define them for you right now. And when you look at the M line, you see another thicker lines connected to them. These are called thin. These are called thick filaments. So inside the muscle fiber, you have two major filaments. You have four types, but two are very important ones. One is called thin filament. One is called thick filament. Thin filament, thick filament. Good? Thick filament? No. Thin filament? Thick. So, 
The thin filament is connected to Z disk. The thick filament is connected to M line. So far, very easy. So, so the, the, so the blue one here, we call it what? This is called what? This is called the, huh? Thin filament. thin filament. Thin filament. These thin filament. So this, this is thin, and the, 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 the and this black one is called what? It's called what? It's called thick. thick filament. Thick filament. I just want you to learn one thing because the, this is a muscle fiber, okay? We call it myofibril. Because inside the muscle fiber, you have these filaments, we call them microfibril. Myofibril is actual the whole muscle fiber. But the ones that are inside the muscle fiber, they are smaller, we call them micro. So what do we call thick filament and thin filament together? We call them what? We call them, we call them microfibril or microfilaments or microfilaments. So anytime you see the word micro, you see the word micro, you need to know they want to talk about the thin and thick filaments. Is it good? So myofibril means the actual muscle fiber. Microfibril or microfilament means the thin and thick. So far, this is just basic understanding of this structure. Is it easy so far? Very good. I just want to add two little, 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 little thing here. Sometimes in the exams, they will not say thin and thick filament. They actually use their medical word. Okay, I want you to know that as well. The thin filament, the second name of thin filaments are... The second name of thin filaments are... Wait it. No! Oh my god. Are called actin. Act, now you know, right? When I say this, it, it's become easy. So, so the thin filaments, we call them actin. The thick filaments, we call them what? What's the second name? Myosin. Myosin, beautiful. Myosin, actin, myosin. The way I tell students to memorize it, remember, actin is just smaller word in, th in terms of size. Myosin is like bigger, you see? So the actin is a thin filament. Myosin is a thick filament, okay? So the, the, I'm talking about the size of the actual word, okay? I think it's just one, two, three, four, five letters. One, two, three, four, five, six letters. So five letters is a thin filament. Six letters is thick filaments, okay? Very good. So now, actin, myosin. If they ask you this way, thin and thick, they can ask you that way, okay. Or actor is thin. Actor is thin. Actin. Usually actors are thin. Yeah. I know some actors are very... <laughs> okay, so anyways, so now let's see how this thin and thick filament, they help us to go to do the contraction and shortening of the muscle. When you look at the end of each myosin or end of thick filaments, thick fibers, you see there are little, 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 little like little structures connecting to them. These are like a paddle, like a paddle, you know, when you go to the boat and use the paddle, these are the little paddles here. Each of them, we call them what? What's the name of that? Oh, oh, this is covered by that. So I need to make a new arrow for you. I need to make a new arrow for you. I need to make it, so this one, you see? What do we call this one? What is the name of these, these little structures? These are the paddles, we call them? What was the name of thick, thick fibers? What was the name of them? Myosin. So these little things, we call them myosin heads. Myosin heads. Repeat. Myosin heads. So the function of myosin heads, it's very simple. You know what they do? Anytime you decide to make a contraction in a muscle, you send the order to myosin heads. These little paddles, what they do, they start, they start moving like that very fast. When they move like that, what they do, look at that. These myosin heads, they move to this direction. They will take these actins or thin filaments to do what? To go what? To go to that direction. And how about this side? This side, they're pulling the thin filaments to go what? To go to this direction. As a result, what happens? This Z disc and this Z disc, they get closer together. Do you understand that? So easy. So this set this this get closer. And then how about these two that discs? Again, get get closer to So these two, this sarcomer becomes shorter. How about this sarcomer? Becomes 
Shorter. How about thousands of sarcomas at the same time become shorter? As a result, what happens? The whole muscle fiber becomes shorter and the whole muscle becomes shorter. Very simple. So they can ask you in exams, they might ask you questions about the structure. They say, what is M, M line? What is sarcomere? What is Z disc? What is thin and thick filaments? Who is responsible for doing the contraction? The movements of myosin heads. The movements of myosin heads that they pull actins towards the center of sarcomere. Meaning anytime you decide to contract the muscle, what you do, you will bring these actins, you see that? Closer to the center of sarcomere. That's as a result, this Z disc and this Z disc, they get closer together and then the sarcomere becomes shorter and the muscle becomes shorter as a result. I hope you understand this.